I'm going to demo for you guys really quick a couple of those apps that I was talking about. One first on the Oculus Rift and then the other one will be with the Gear VR. Um, basically I'm trying to show this idea of being able to pull models off the computer, um, things that you can design in the classroom and then use in virtual reality. Uh, a lot of this is still kind of in the beginning stages so there's not a lot out there but here's two kind of cool options that are already accessible. Um, so the first one's called Prospect is the name of the software, the application. Um, it's in beta form. It comes from a company called Iris VR. Um, but I'll show you how that works. So basically you get your... I'm using the Oculus Rift. You could use the HTC Vive um, and it would probably be a very similar experience. Uh, but as you open it up it's drag and drop. So you take your SketchUp file is what I'm going to use. It supports a few other file types. Um, and I'm just going to drop in. I have a, some student work here. One of the first projects we do is a castle in SketchUp. And the kids have some requirements as far as scale and different things that it has to contain. So I'll load that in. And then I hit the launch button. And that should... I'll be using the Xbox One controller to navigate through this and maybe try and talk a, a little bit through it. Um, but you'll see, you'll notice as soon as you get into the app, the model loads up really nice right here on this pedestal and I can just use a controller and kind of rotate around. Another really cool option is that if you're using uh, different scenes in SketchUp, um, you could see markers for the scenes and you could zoom around to whatever you've configured. That's another option to move around really well. Uh, and then you see this little character icon. I can drop him anywhere in the model. So let's just put him right here on the drawbridge and it'll immediately put me right in. So now I'm here looking at this model. Um, I have some options for scale. Um, I'm a little bit taller than that. so. I'll just put that in. And now this should be true to life. I can walk through um, as I approach things. It should detect a barrier there. I can't go through the well. Um, but I can, if I hold the triggers, I can kind of hover up here and look around. And I can also teleport if I, if you see that little white cursor, I can zoom around the different parts. So I might Gonna zoom up here, maybe jump on one of these towers, and I can look out here. So scale, as far as scale goes, this might be a, a pretty decent scale. Um, <clears throat> one thing I might talk about with this particular student as we are doing it, the model looks pretty good, actually. Um, but as we learn how to prepare models for 3D print, I might point out this part right here has no dimension. So there's probably a few ways you can do this, but um, definitely if you're going to 3D print a model like this, you'd want to make sure that this wall had some dimension to it. So that would be a great way to demonstrate to the kids exactly what's going on. And I think they'd really be able to visualize a lot better using a tool like this. So that's pretty much it. Um, zoom back around here. So you can kind of have multiple ways to navigate. Okay, so the next one that I'm going to show you is for Gear VR um, or Google Cardboard or any type of Android mobile viewer. Um, it's called QR VR is the name of the website. And it's very similar. Okay, so what I could do then is pull up this QR code. This is syncing up now with the model that I loaded online. And the neat thing about this is that um, most of the heavy lifting is not done on the phone. That way, It'll process really fast. I'm not actually storing anything on the phone. It's going over the network. Um, 
And then this is just a model that I downloaded really quick off of uh, the SketchUp warehouse, but I can throw it into the Google Cardboard mode. put it in the gear VR I'm presented with the model I'm kind of on a floating view here out front and if I stop you'll notice that if you look at the same spot for long enough you perform that teleport function so maybe I'll jump over here just hold really still and it will start to uh, take you over there and I can view around this model the walk feature it will just slowly kind of move towards wherever I'm looking. I can stop that if I double tap. Alright so uh, those are the two different apps that I want to show you really quick. Um, so far they're a little bit better suited for architectural type um, structures or bigger things to, to kind of move through. Um, but the, the proof of concept is there. It would be just as easy to load in a, a small model, maybe something that you'd 3D print. Um, and once the motion controllers, I guess, might it might already be possible on the HTC Vive with their motion controllers. Um, but just having that ability to manipulate the model a little bit better, um, possibly hold it in your hand, look in uh, at the model itself, um, just some ideas about how virtual virtual reality might actually take the place of 3D printing.